Up in the northwest corner of Arkansas, on the outskirts of Bella Vista, there is a retirement community called the Plaza. As we drive up to the entrance, you will notice the well-kept grounds and the peaceful setting. But don't let this carefree setting fool you because the folks inside are vibrant and have a lot of interesting stories to tell. Now let's go inside and meet some of the people that call this wonderful community their home. My name is Steve Larson. I'm president of the board of directors here at the Plaza. And we've been fortunate to have some folks come in and make us a video that tells you the history of the plaza and meet some of the people, some of the founders, and many of the other folks around here. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, John. I'm here with John Foss. And John, I would like for you to share with us how you decided to create something like the plaza. Uh, this was a, uh, a concept developed by the Rotary Club, and so we formed a committee called the uh, Senior Living Concepts. Mm -hmm. And we found this uh, cooperative concept to be predominantly up in the Twin City area, Minneapolis mm -hmm. and St. Paul. Uh, and so we went up there and studied their articles of co uh, articles incorporation, and we formed our own. And uh, that was the beginning where we got the idea. So, so you saw what they were doing. Yes. And it wasn't being done in Arkansas. No. So you wanted to start something like that here. That's correct. Yeah. So then what, in your opinion, would you say is your favorite thing about co-op living or about the plaza? Everything that a senior live, senior needs is provided. Yeah. Create something that seniors could move into and be confident that they were well cared for for the rest of their life. Right. A cooperative a board of directors consisting of its own members. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, local control. We had to ask ourselves the question, uh, in a conjunction with a common room, which we call a dining room, what size of kitchen do we want? Right. And so it's a, that was a $100,000 question. Yeah. <laughs> I'm... We, we looked at food services mm -hmm. across the country. Right. Every one of them lost money. Oh, goodness. And uh, our, our challenge was to come up with a concept would be self-sustaining, and would be individually optioned. Right. You don't get food services just to move in here. Right. We really wrestled with it. So then you have the option of coming down and having a community meal with fellow residents, social time. Exactly. Interacting with other people, but then you also have the option of having a full kitchen in your apartment and being able to cook for yourself right. as an independent lifestyle. And you have the option of ordering your supper and taking it to your apartment. Okay, that's great. So you so have a few options. options. A yeah. lot of gratitude for what you in, were inspired to create here. Well, that, uh, that, that's, well, that's what our dream was, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you've accomplished it. I think you've accomplished yeah. it. So you thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the fact that we got to do this in person. Hi, Wayne, how are you? I'm fine. Well. <laughs> Good. Okay, so you have been a resident at the Plaza since the beginning, right? I was here in the beginning. In fact, I was either the first or second person in the building. In fact, there was no carpet on the steps and, the, and half the halls weren't done. They were working on the north end. But uh, I'm not really sure if Evan and uh, Mac were... They were on the first floor. If they were in before we were, or uh, Fred and Mickey, they were in the hall across us. The three of us were all within two weeks of each other. In fact, I think we even used the same van. But anyhow, but anyhow, it was uh, 
We were anxious to get in here. I was only here about a year and a half. My wife, uh, Alzheimer's, progressed. She was, uh, but she was a wonderful, wonderful lady. We were married 59 and a half years. And uh, so uh, uh, I left here after about a year and a half. In fact, the plaza, I was the only one I think came back you now with my second wife. We moved back here about three years ago. And uh, in fact, we got an apartment underneath the one I was here originally. And it's wonderful. And the, the boards that have taken care of the plaza while I was gone, they've done a fantastic job. Presently, I'm treasurer of the, uh, of the plaza. I enjoy the work. It's a little over $16 million complex now with the ground and property. We have over a half a million dollars in assets and in investments. So the mortgage is well backed and we're under budget for the year so far. So it's really a wonderful operation. That, that is all great information. And um, yeah, so some questions that we hadn't had answered yet. So that's awesome. Um, so you must have liked it enough to come back, yes. right? And of course, I knew when we came back, there were, oh, I think, six couples or people or units that were here originally when I left. And uh, so I like Charlie Whitford and Mickey and... Uh, Evelyn, and uh, there was another person that moved in here. I think it was John Thompson. He was on the first floor. He was a single fellow, and we played golf together. In the early days, I was playing golf probably oh, four or five days a week. In fact, I had my golf trailer here, and, and I, in the storage unit over there, I kept my golf cart in the storage unit, and the trailer was up here in the backyard. And uh, John and I played golf together. I'd go pick up the trigger, go pick up my cart in the storage area, and pick up John Thompson on the first floor, and we'd go play golf. But it, it was uh, it was a wonderful place, and it's always had a wonderful reputation in the village. And currently, right now, we have quite a waiting list trying to get in, but uh, so it's well secured. Good problem to have to have a waiting list. Yeah. So what would you say is your favorite thing about the plaza? I think the beauty of the place. It's so well kept landscape wise and uh, maintained uh, that there's no problem. It's, all our appliances, if anything goes wrong, they're replaced. And uh, so you don't have any worries about upkeep and the grounds are always immaculate. And uh, it's so well maintained. Awesome. So if you had to give a piece of advice to a new resident, what would that be? Come and enjoy. Uh, uh, it's a big family, 59 units. And uh, we have a new grand piano in the dining room. And uh, it's um, well received. And uh, there's always something going on. You can take part as much as you want. It's great. The food is wonderful. We hear the chef is amazing. Oh, he's, he's wonderful. When we first moved in here, we had, uh, we had hired uh, Chef Bruce from the Country Club. And he maintained the kitchen in the, in the plaza. And when we were eating every day in those days, seven days a week. But uh, since then, that uh, they found a lot of people like to do their own cooking. So that that disappeared while we were gone. But when they came back, we right now we're still on three days a week, and the meals are top grade. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking time to meet with us today and share about your experience. My pleasure. I'm, I'm glad to advertise. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Wayne. Hi, Evelyn. So good to see you. Well, thank you. You too. Yeah. So we are asking a few questions of the residents that have been here the longest. And so I wanted to ask you about how you decided 
to move into the plaza all those years ago? Well, we were living here in the house, which we had built on Lake Avalon, which we really loved. But I told my husband, you know, this is getting hard. I was doing all the mowing of the yard, raking the leaves and shoveling in the snow, yeah. and I was getting older, and he was disabled better. And so I said, you know, they're coming up with the plaza. I saw it in the paper. So let's go see what's going on. So we came over here to the meeting, and after, that was over at Reardon Hall, the first meeting. And after I saw that, I said, let's put some money down. I think we need to move in there when they get it going. Yeah. And we didn't know when they were going to get it started. They didn't know either. They were trying to see how many people they could get interested in mm -hmm. something like this. So then we all... Uh, we came home and we talked about it and everything, and so we put money down. And uh, of course, it was several years after that before the plaza really got started. Yeah. And we had a lot of meetings with cheese and wine. Were they trying to persuade <laughs> get, get you <laughs> under the influence? <laughs> I don't know. It was just to get everybody together and get people interested yeah. and everything. And, and finally they had enough people together, so then they decided they'd go ahead and start on the building. And so when I found out where the building was going to be, I walked this whole grounds up here. I thought, I'm going to see, and this was beautiful woods, yeah. which of course for the building they had to tear down the woods. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, it's on a hill, so we won't flood, yeah. and it's really a good spot. So then when the building started, and I knew, I had seen the plans, and I knew it was this apartment that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I came over here every week to see how things were going here. So <laughs> what would you say you like the most about living here? Oh, I don't know, everything. <laughs> I've never picked out anything in particular. The people have always been wonderful. Yeah. We've got wonderful people here. And uh, they come and go, of course, as people get older, the, one of them dies and the uh, kids that are left say, come on, you got to move over here close to me, so yeah. they move. I mean, uh, it's just amazing how many people have come and gone mm -hmm. here since I've been here. and. Uh, of course, the first people, I really knew everybody because I was involved here. I was working here with the, I started the kitchen and the dining room mm -hmm. and all of that I got going. Yeah. I bought all the dishes, all the glasses. and How fun. Oh, yeah. So, I so was your fingerprints are all over this place then. Oh, yes. I did a lot of things. And of course, now I'm retired. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it's time for you to relax. And let others do those things. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. So I just see how they do things. And yeah. All. So you're yeah. like the, the matriarch of the plaza then? Well, I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> I, guess so. I never thought about it. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share. You just had a very significant birthday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I didn't think about being here until I was 100. So yeah. I never what thought would be that. your biggest piece of advice to a new resident moving in? Well, the first thing is that you want to get involved in things. Mm -hmm. So you get to know people and, uh, and of course there's some people that you'll really like and click with and some you probably won't. Yeah. But uh, they're all real nice and everybody wants to get acquainted with, <laughs> yes. with everybody. So. Yeah. It's, Very good. That. Well, we are just so grateful that you <laughs> took the time today to, to chat with us again. Um, I, I just love your story, the fact that you've been here since the beginning, and you, you've seen a oh, lot. Yes, I have. I'll tell you, I watched everything being built outside and inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you've so. been here for almost 23 years. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe it. It's the longest I've lived in yeah, place. Yeah. So awesome. this is home. <laughs> Oh, yes, this is all. Yeah. Well, Hi, thank Phyllis. Thank you so much for talking with me today. You've been there for quite a bit. Were you one of the first people to move in? Yes. 
we moved in at, uh, in January of 2005. And that's, and when, that's when it, it first opened. So, some on the south side got to move in in December around Christmas time of 04. So yeah, my husband and I moved in on the north side, first floor. Uh, the weather was terrible. <laughs> it was in January. All I can remember is all the mud and they had to put down planking boards for us to get to the door. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and it was not completely finished inside. The uh, hallways were uh, not carpeted and the poor workmen were trying to do their jobs and we were trying to move in. And of course, sometimes it didn't go well, <laughs> but we did manage, so. Well, good. Well, what made you choose to move to the plaza? Uh, I think the fact that we could give up yard work and uh, care of the house and we were getting up in years a little more, not too too far, but still we could see that we were going to have to hire a lot of work done for the house and the yards. And we liked the fact that it would be done for us uh, at the plaza. Uh, I other other than that, I don't know. Uh, oh, and I love like the fact that the mail is brought to us inside that service. I, I, I appreciate that mailman more and more every day. <laughs> That's wonderful. So does does the mailman actually slide it under under your door or do you have an no. actual mailbox? No, we each have a mailbox and uh, that is centered by the front door. Okay. Sometimes if he has a package for us, he will bring it to our door with our mail. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, we go to our mailbox. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think that's one of the things I appreciate the most. I, I, I appreciate the fact that we have a laundry in our apartments. And we can do that whenever we please. That's wonderful. <clears throat> so um, I, I think there are a lot of things we take for granted now that we've been there so long, but uh, you stop and, and, and you do think, uh, I, I am thankful for everything, all the people. And, and the fact that you can stay by yourself, uh, you don't have to attend all of the meetings or all the gatherings, uh, you still can choose your own life uh, the way that you like, but you, you have friends, you have friends near you and, uh, you're not alone, even though you might want to be alone, you know, that you have people that you can rely on and call on and, and you do the same for them. It's, uh, it, it's turnabout fair play. <laughs> I love that. And I, selfishly what I love about hearing you say that is the fact that my parents are there and so to know that there are people around them that can check on them they can still do their own thing but you know they also have a community of people that are right there should they need some help so yes yes yeah. and that's I guess about it uh, we we uh, signed up to move in of course it all came that sign up came up I think about two to one year ahead of time, but we signed up once and backed out once. Oh, okay. And, but we had friends moving in and uh, the more we thought about it, we thought that this is the best time to make the move while we're able. So yeah. I lost my husband almost a year ago in May and I have been learning to live by myself. Uh, and of course there are other other people in the same position and uh, you're not alone. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. I'm so sorry for your loss. 
Thank you. Um, but I'm also grateful that you are in a place like that where there are a lot of people that can check on you. And um, yes. And my, yeah. chil my children feel the same as you. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today and sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Okay. So thank tell us your name. My name is Harold Schmitz, Harold Jacob Schmitz. And I am Lisa Schmitz and we spell it the same way, which is very ironic. Well, hi there, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you were one of the very early residents here at the Plaza, right? That's correct. So what made you decide on this type of senior living? Well, I had a home in Bella Vista up over uh, the one of the parks. I told my second wife, Cleo, I said, you know, I think we should start looking around for a smaller place where I don't need to be out doing the outside work anymore. So we wander all over the countrysides here, looking and so forth. And this uh, project here came about. I put down uh, some uh, a down payment on it, and a couple of gals were overlooking this thing between them and the, the federal government. You know, that's trouble. <laughs> So uh, what happened is that it got hung up in the government as far as financing and so forth. So I pulled my, my deposit back out of it again. And about a year later, the whole thing blossomed one more time. So uh, we went back and uh, at that time, already, uh, most of the better units, the larger units, were already uh, asked for. So when Cleo and I got over, we just had those smaller units left. Oh, I'm not interested in that. Well, this unit here was still available, these two units. And I asked him, I said, well, why can't we just combine those two units Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. He says, there's not a word you can't, you know. So they talked about it for a while and called me a week later or two, something like that. And he says, okay, if you, that's what you would uh, like, we could do that for you. But you'll have to get, uh, pay for a separate cost for designing it and so forth. I said, well, that's no problem. So that night I just sat down and in about two hours time I had it all scribbled out. So I gave them my, my uh, plans and they took it from there. And it's very beautiful. So what would you say is your favorite Thing about living at the plaza? Uh, number one are the, the people that, that we have here. The other things are uh, the convenience of, well, we have a grocery store about four miles down. We have all kinds of churches here. We have hospitals. We have everything you need. So what advice would you give to someone, uh, to a new resident here at the plaza? Well, number one, is that you're moving into with a group of people that you will have a few problems. The people that, that we have here, they're nice people. You can do as much as you want or as less as you want. So now my question is, are you thinking about moving here sometime? <laughs> We're not close to retirement age yet. We'll see. I understand that, but you know, John, he's getting older, you know, and. Uh... <laughs> All right, Harold, thank you again so much. We appreciate it. Hi, Mickey. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. So you were one of the original owners here at yes. the Plaza, yes. right? 
I love it here. <laughs> Tell us about your experience when you arrived. Well, uh, they were still working on the other uh, wing, uh, and but they had finished this wing. So we moved in before Christmas. We moved our Christmas packages and our moving packages, <laughs> moved them all in at once, and uh, just kind of relaxed once we got our boxes all in. <laughs> And you have lived in a couple of different apartments in this one space. Year, one right? year, yeah, we we both. My husband bought um, an apartment up on the third floor. It was the biggest apartment, and he wanted the biggest one. And uh, it didn't matter to me. And after he passed away, uh, uh, I preferred to move down here in the smaller one, and I like it because it's cozy. Yeah. <laughs> So what would you say you like about it the most? Well, it's like living with a big family, I'd say, because people are very congenial here, and uh, uh, it's handy to the grocery and church and everything, so uh, uh, I, I just love it. <laughs> if you had to give a piece of advice to a new owner, what would that be? Uh, get out and get acquainted with the people that live here. Don't sit by yourself in your apartment because it's there are a lot of things to do, and uh, it's just great to get acquainted with everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being with us today and for letting us look around your beautiful apartment. We really appreciate it. Well, I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you. Hi, Charlie. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so you are one of the original owners here at the plaza, right? Yes, my brother and I moved in in, uh, I think it was September 2010, or 2005. And there were already a few people here, but when I, uh, when I moved in, the north end wasn't done yet. And uh, I had to live with my brother for six months over on the south side. He had a big apartment. So you got to watch the rest of it being finished? I did. I even watched my own room getting done. Did you have any part in the design of your own space? No. 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 So what would you say you like the best about living here? Oh, the people for first. There's a lot of nice people here. And then there's me. You're special, Charlie. <laughs> well, I, that's a question I don't know about. <laughs> but anyway, I enjoyed it. And uh, I learned how to play pool on this table. Yeah, so would this be one of your favorite things then? I like, I like to play. I'm not real good, but uh, I win my share. Yeah. If you had to give some advice to a new owner at the plaza, what would it be? Just enjoy it. A lot of nice people here. Yeah. Pretty simple advice, I would say. And I am going to share that you have a pretty special occasion coming up, right? I guess so. You're going to have a birthday in September? How about September 6th? And you will turn how many digits? Three. Yeah, so Charlie's going to be 100 years old and is a staple here at the Plaza. And thank you so much for talking to me today.
As the sun sets here at the plaza in Bella Vista, Arkansas, we hope you've enjoyed the interviews from some of the founding members. This video is just an introduction to some of the great people that live at the plaza. So don't be shy. Get out and meet some of your new neighbors.